Hey friends, Andrew Carruthers here, Education Director for Sanvia, and today we're gonna explore the question whether to curl or wave hair with a curling iron or to use a flat iron. So this is a pretty big question with a lot of different levels of answers. The first answer we'll give you is there's an element, of course, of personal preference and the ability to control each tool. A lot of times, especially for our clients, they feel like they can't really get control over one tool or the other and get the results that they want. So really when it comes down to it, part of it is personal preference and which tool can you use to get the right results? So let's talk more about the technical aspect. So this is our one and a half inch artist series Marcel and wand. We're gonna pop the spoon off here and just use it as a wand first. If you hit the detach button, slide that off, and then right there, there's a little button that locks that handle in place so that it doesn't turn on you, so it turns into a wand. Now, let's just take a section side by side. We'll prep the hair first with just a little bit of iron shape 11, and this will help to give us a touch of hold and some heat protection. So we'll just lift this up, missed a bit of that through. We like to just give it a light mist through and then take a brush or a comb through it to distribute that product really well. Please keep your head up straight for me, ma'am. She's had a little bit to drink today. All right, so we grab the wand. We're just gonna take a section here at the front hairline and for the sake of trying to be as similar as possible, we will take the hair, hold the section vertically, and we're just going to wrap this hair down the iron, and we're gonna do it in a flat manner. It would be really hard to twist the hair within the flat iron, so we're gonna compare two different flat wraps. So we're just wrapping the hair around the iron flat, we're just gonna let that get nice and hot, and we'll let that fall. So let's just sit that there, and we'll let that cool. Now, let's grab the Signature Series Sleeker Flat Iron. This is a great iron for curling because it does have those curved plates to it. It curves two ways. It actually curves this way, and the plates themselves are kind of rounded on the edges so that you don't snag hair. That's one of the things that every hairdresser hates with a flat iron is when a piece of hair gets stuck on the corner of the plate. So we're gonna do as similar of a process as we can. We're gonna come over the top and let's see, we curled towards the face on that. So we'll do that same thing here. So we're gonna take the iron and we're just going to give it a twist, keeping the hair flat We'll lead those ends in. And this is gonna give us about as close to that curling iron as we can get. We can't really just wrap the hair around the flat iron. It's not gonna do much. So these are gonna be the most similar curls that we can get. Now, if you just immediately look at the results side by side, they have some subtle differences to them, but they're not terribly different. So the one thing that I notice immediately is that the curling iron has almost a little bit more of a twist to it, and it also has a very flat profile to it. It's also a bit leaner, it's not as full, and not as loose. So. Part of it would be iron size as well. If we had chosen a one inch iron, this would be just a little bit tighter. It's still not gonna have that same kind of shape as the flat iron. So the flat iron's really giving us almost like a ribbon, very flat, and then that curl is really wrapping around itself pretty tight. And as we run our hands through it, let's see what it turns into for us. So it becomes a little bit more of a, you know, a wave pattern now, that back and forth movement. 
So now let's go to the curling iron. It has a little bit more round feel to it. It's not as ribbony as the flat iron side, which would kind of make sense. It has a little bit more fullness to it. And let's run our hands through. And this has a more regular pattern to it. You can really see the pattern of the iron inside of that curling iron wave. Inside of the flat iron wave, you can see you almost have these kind of crests and then a little more irregularity. So to me, the flat iron creates a much more irregular pattern, which might be a good thing, especially with today's trends airing towards things that look a little more disrupted. Whereas the curling iron, well, more the wand, but a lot of people use a curling iron in that way, that gives you a pretty determined pattern. So a couple things that we noticed so far. One, the flat iron's giving us a more ribbony kind of flattened out feel and a much more irregular pattern. The curling iron left us with a little more fullness roundness to it, and it has more of a regular pattern. So we can probably safely determine that if we want things to be a little more irregular, that flat iron might be a great tool. If we want things to be a little more compressed and a little more ribbony, flat iron might be the right tool. If we want a little more fullness to the pattern, curling iron might be the way to go. And if we want a little more regularity to the pattern, then again, curling iron might be the right tool for the job. So we'd like to hear what you think. When do you choose a curling iron over a flat iron for your waves and curls? If you have any questions for us, please leave them in the comments. We'd love to hear from you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Andrew Carruthers, Education Director for Sam Villa.